you guys uh, seem to be going into uh, some sort of building that's like a kind of a museum type thing. When you all stop, look at each other, compare IDs, look at the pictures on your IDs, notice your gear, and it seemed that you were just kind of heading into this building for whatever reason. I pause. Do, are we carrying our forensics kits? I uh, no, not currently. Actually, uh, uh, Dana, aka Detective Mont, has a forensics kit. The R two do not. So okay. apparently, the most junior guy, or whatever in this case, is stuck lugging uh, one kit. So Glenn is Cynthia and Dana is Nigel. Okay. Yeah, you gotta feel sorry for these poor bastards. It's like, guys, yo, know, we just had a day that we missed out on or two. I'm sure that won't happen again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if this happened to you where a day or two just went by and you had no memory of it and you're like, oh, it was really traumatic. Okay, we'll just hold it together. It happened again. Yeah. Ah. A lot of crazy shit. Mm. Alrighty. Um, a museum, you say? It's kind of a, a cross between a museum and just some kind of weird holding facility thing. Uh, you're not sure, but somebody's coming forward to hold open the door for you. It appears to be a bespectacled black man who looks like this. Uh, yeah. He says, officers, thank you so much for coming so quickly. He holds open the door. Thank you. Now, as you, as you guys are getting taken in, he's also babbling, but first, everybody give me security systems roles, please. Oh, I made it. Hmm. Weird. Hmm. All right. Uh, you're, you're, Dana, you're thinking it looks like just a lot of security guards and shit like that. Um, uh, you, you really don't have much of an opinion on it other than this doesn't look like a, a super high risk robbing thing. Uh, what Glenn's thinking is, assuming you bypass the very few guards they had and disabled like the cameras and stuff, because they are all like uh, against an external, like the, the equipment to do the cameras is against an external wall. So you could possibly like dig in from there and, you know, get the wires or whatever. But assuming that this place is not a tough nut to crack. It would be for the PCs who can't master basics like wearing a mask or something like that. But I mean, for professional thieves, not a tough place to crack. Um, They've only got the, the security on the perimeter. Possible. Uh, the, the whole place is kept climate controlled here. And you notice as you're getting led by, uh, by this guy, whoever he is, you have no idea who this guy is. Um, the whole place like you're being led through kind of it's not really an airlock but it's like doors space doors and the air feels different inside it's definitely some sort of climate control deal everybody give me a um history of, or no sorry ignore that um the guy says now as as i told your superiors there was a robbery I think it was a guard named Gerald Vogel. He didn't show up for a shift last night. I tried calling him, but he didn't answer. I checked his rounds from the night before, and that's when I noticed that the maps were gone. When I checked, I found the video surveillance had been disabled. The other guards also do the rounds here every couple hours. They didn't report anything odd. Um, you guys notice as he's taking you through that Almost all of the uh, drawers in here seem to be map drawers. It appears that you're in some sort of map 
either museum or holding area or something, although it doesn't look like it's a super open to the uh, um, public type place that he's leading you through. And it looks like this. And um, he takes you over to an aisle and he shows you it's got drawers open on either side uh, near like when you're walking in near about waist level, several drawers are open and then skip a bunch that are closed. And then in the very back, one drawer is open, kind of really almost as high as it can go. And he, he says to you, discretion is, of course, the utmost of importance. If it got out, we couldn't protect our own collection. Private donors would stop donating and our insurance would go through the roof. We just recently scanned our maps and put copies on the internet. Do you think there's any connection between that and this theft? Mm, depends on what the maps were that were stolen. Mm. Might well, have, which were? Tipped someone off that... Uh... You had what they were looking for. Mm, I see. Well, provided Gerald cooperates, we are not even going to press charges. That's assuming he was involved. Um, so did Gerald have keys to this place or was how, how yes, does it work? Okay. Yes, all of, the, all of the guards have keys and such. And we have redundant uh, cameras everywhere, as you can see. He points at some really obvious, not that great according to Glenn placed cameras. Uh, oh, however, Dana, who is currently somebody else, seems to be my, mildly impressed with just how many there are. She's like, whoa, this is good security. And so these drawers, when these drawers were open as, as they are here? Yes, I haven't touched anything. Of course, I've watched television, he says, confidentiality. Confidentially, yes, I will push on. There was a total of eight different maps stolen. I'll get you uh, uh, information on all of them, of course. The security that work here are they from a private security firm or do they work for your organization? They work for us. Uh, uh, all of them, including, including, um, eh, sorry, he knows this guy's name. Uh, Gerald have worked here for more than 10 years. What's your name, sir? He blinks at you and he says, um, Raphael, Raphael, I called. <laughs> Raphael. Winthrop. Winthrop. He blinks at you. And you suspect Gerald Vogel? That's right. V-O-G-E-L. Hey, yes, yes. Would you it's, be able to fetch his HR file? I'll go get that. Um, or directors who could, be, who could get that for us. I, yeah, I'll take care of it personally, but please Thank make you. sure to be very careful. The maps here are worth quite a bit. Uh, we Hell. reinstated the security uh, cameras and such, but unfortunately they missed whatever happened. Of an evening, how many guards are on? Uh, they, they typically have uh, three guards. We used to have four, but wow, well, then there was the issue. That was about 15 years ago. It was discovered that with four, you could have a jolly good game of poker. So at that point, oh, they bridge. decided bridge would have been more appropriate, he says. Oh, 500 or? I mean, you got four, you got four, four people. So, I'll go get that HR file. Thank you. So, you fired someone fifteen years ago. Well, well I, no, I assume they made a cost-cutting yeah. exercise. Yes. Oh, he hurries off. Could bear a grudge. So they fired somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Laid off. Now, 15 years is a long fucking time to wait before going, all right, now I'm going to burglarize this place I haven't been yes, to. Yes, rationalize. Years. All right, gloves up. Great. 
Yeah, everybody's got uh, lovely plastic gloves on them. All right. Uh, friends um, of Trinity. As you can see, there, there's uh, most, almost all of the stuff is uh, uh, flat uh, drawers, except for the one in the picture on the lower left there. That is bigger and Apparently the tops can roll off for whatever reason. Lower left. You mean you you're talking the, about the display cases? That's right. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. They're just display cases that open up. It's like a case yes. with a hinge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't look like it's hinged, it looks like the entire top rolls aside, but currently no, it's it like no there's hinges. You can see them in the picture. Those I have guys, no guys, idea. I think maybe it does both because I've seen them rolled off also. Okay. But yeah, they just look like hinges. So you just lift it up. It should be that way. Hmm. Props department, get on there. Yes, that yes right. exactly. Fucking props department. All right. Mm -hmm. So when you say roll, I'm still not picturing like a freezer type of at a supermarket. Like the top, the top can go, or in this case, since fuck it, we'll use the hinges, like you know. But other than other than um, those are the only ones that are thicker. Everything else is more like these. Oops, hold on a minute. These. It, the, yeah. The, the, the rollout draw. Yeah. yeah. Um, is I'll look around. Is there a ladder or something, or a stool, or <laughs> several, several ladders and stools? Oh. Like, uh, but there are none in the uh, 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 the area where. Well, you can see here that. Uh, yeah, I know. Like, there's none in none in view there, so I'm just trying to work right. out. Somebody Apparently they may have a stole extreme, a ladder. Either we're looking for a basketballer or... Yeah. I love it, Joshua. <laughs> we're looking for a very tall person. That's right. Or they, they made use of one of the letters or stools. Yes, so there's, there's plenty of them. That would be I want to check. I will check the nearest ones just to see if there's anything of interest on them. Like... There's well, no chance there's mud or markings or whatever. No, um, it it looks as though all of the ones that are near the, because as you can see in this picture, uh, that's the entrance, like, mm -hmm. a, and then it kind of dead, dead ends in its own little thing. But all the ones near the entrance are at about waist height, nice and easy to open type deal. And then that one is like really obviously like in the, Huh? Yeah, I mean, because there's obviously a passageway at the back there, otherwise you wouldn't be able to get into some of those glass cabinets. Right. So, uh, you could go around the back, but yeah, that's it wouldn't yeah. make logical sense from the flow from the front door. Okay. I was just thinking about where, the, where a ladder or something would be that they would have used. Yeah. You could climb on top of the thing and... Possibly, but yeah, I suppose we can have a look just to see, just... Chances are they don't dust up there on the top, so it'd be pretty obvious if someone was up there. You guys grab a ladder, one person holds it there, scampers up. I'm not needing any rolls. It, it looks as though they do dust it. It hasn't been dusted in the last couple of days, but you know, occasionally they probably have some sort of special thing. But the dust, what little dust is up here hasn't been disturbed, so nobody was crawling around on the tops. You look around, there's a. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll dust it for prints and stuff. Chances are there's going to be multiple prints or the person who's opened it. There's all kinds of smudge crap, but yeah. Yeah. Here's the forensic kit, Joshua. Thank you. We forensicize. No problem. Yeah. You do that. While waiting for uh, Raphael to turn up. He comes back and I, he says, I just don't understand how anybody could have secreted themselves and maybe <laughs> waited for the guard or something like that in here. He looks around. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not like there's any hiding spots. 
No, no. I look at Glenn. <laughs> so we're looking for secretions. I hide. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, okay. I mean, you could stand behind the the stuff, but if somebody's walking, you'd have to play a very delicate ballet of like getting behind the big cabinets when they're walking. Surely, right someone, someone would just be able to get underneath the middle set of drawers in the middle between the ones that back either side, by the looks of it, and you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't be seen there. Hopefully not. They don't, they, they don't go all the way to the floor, and there's gaps there, so it shouldn't be easy for someone just to hide under there, and they wouldn't be seen. Where's the closest bathroom? Uh, that would be back the direction you came from, uh, like outside of the climate control deal. When people come here to view maps, do they do they specify which maps and someone comes and gets it for them, or do can people just come in and access the maps themselves? How does it work? Uh, we we allow people to access the maps since we have it on camera, as long as they're extremely careful. Some of the maps are worth quite a bit of money. Okay. Um, so people are required to wear gloves or something when they access these maps? Yes, of course. Okay. Um, and he looks at the group of them, you're all wearing gloves. He relaxes just a bit. <laughs> were any of the maps in these drawers restricted access? No, no. Okay. It's, okay. it's odd because they... they it was almost. It seems almost random which maps they took, and the the ones in the drawer here are not even the most expensive ones from our collection by a long shot. So, do you have a list? Yeah. What were the maps taken, please? I, yes, of course. He gets you a list, which until you can narrow it down, proves meaningless to you. So, how many were taken? Eight. 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 Okay. But by God, you got a list. You can now check it twice, and you'll find out who's been naughty eventually. Listen. All right. And all those maps have been scanned and have images available of them? Yes. Both sides or just the front? He blinks at you. Uh, usually people are only interested in the front. Do you think there could be something on the back? I don't know. It depends on what the maps were of and what they were done on. Sometimes they may have stuff on the back. He so looks interested. I, well, he says. <laughs> just, <laughs> like, I got nothing here. All right. Um, so, yes, uh, Gerald, Gerald Vogel's contact details. He gives you the contact details. They include a phone. Thank you. A phone number, as in? Mm -hmm. And address. an address, really. Yes. And you had tried contacting Gerald, did you say? Well, yes, uh, we, we did so early uh, in, in the uh, morning from the office. We discovered this place is completely empty. We went back to the office and made so, calls. The other two guards that were on duty when Jared was supposed to be on duty. Mm -hmm. Did Gerald call in sick to them? I mean, why didn't they? Well, he apparently arrived. He showed up, but then they didn't see him after that. I, okay. They so eventually he went out on his rounds and then he disappeared. And then the other guards, they decided to cover for him and then this morning he was gone so i my suspicion is he went and did his rounds after monkeying somehow with the cameras although i'm not sure how he did that with the other guards because they stay in the room until like one goes out on rounds and they are to remain in the room to keep an eye on him and then he somehow slipped out through the the exit so did they notice that the monitors, um, if they're in the room where the thing is, I assume they got monitors there? Yes, yes. Um, we, we, we played back the, uh, the tapes, but nothing was on the monitors. Um, eventually, uh, uh, well, we just don't know. I, I don't like, like to say what the guards believe happened. 
What do the hmm. gods believe happened? They think it was a ghost. Mm -hmm. I'd like to check the security room, the camera room, see if anything's been tampered with. Of course. Does do the guards have lockers or anything for storing of personal effects or? Yes. We would like to see those too, please. Mm -hmm. He takes you guys to the security room. He shows you the lockers. Uh, he unlocks uh, Gerald Bogles. It has the most bland, boring collection of shit that a guy would leave into his locker. It has nothing that it's like, oh, Jesus, this guy is. If he had like spicy mayonnaise, it might kill him. I'm curious as to whether or not he has car keys or his wallet is still there. Oh, yes. Those things are definitely there. Beautiful. Yes, I was interested in what do you do with your garbage? Is there a dumpster? Yes, yes. He he takes you out. He says, uh, if you'd like to look at the tapes, he instructs the air guards to give uh, uh, the guy he believes to be a, uh, a good-looking Asian lady whatever help she needs. And then he takes uh, Dana Zul, uh, who he believes to be a short, muscular black man, out yes. back to look at the dumpster. He points it out to you. It appears, fortunately, to be a pretty clean dumpster as opposed to, you know, I don't know, one behind a, a Chinese takeout restaurant. <laughs> you have flashbacks. <laughs> so were you the guards that were on duty last night? Uh, no, sir. They, 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 uh, uh, they went home after their shift were the other guards. So could I please get their names and addresses, please, as we'll need to talk to them about what happened. Obviously. Of course. They they supply these details of these men. Thank you. Do you, do you think it was the ghost? Quite possibly. I was curious mm, about... They were compressed and <laughs> not at each other. I, I'm wondering whereabouts Gerald... I mean, if, he, if they saw him go on patrol, he would have appeared on the monitors, so... Whereabouts they last saw him? Oh, he didn't. We we got the tapes queued up. If you'd like to see them, yeah, I believe. Uh, they look at her. Is, um, sorry, not much. Oh, you miss. <laughs> they say to Glenn. Cynthia, detective. Um, Schitt. No idea how you pronounce that, Cynthia. Schitt. Schitt. These He's, guards are um, uh, smiling looking at us right now. It's weird having men ogle your uh, chest there, Glenn, but you're somehow getting used to it. I lean forward. <laughs> They're just like, then one of them goes, oh, the tape, right? <laughs> right. You get to watch it, and it's real obvious. Mojo. That <laughs> okay, everybody's magic points go to two. No. The only thing that's really interesting is it appears that uh, time is proceeding normally, and then suddenly it reverses itself like instantaneously to like 45 minutes or five minutes, sorry, five minutes prior, and then it continues doing so every five minutes, time mysteriously. So it's not only a ghost, but some sort of space so time a, continuum. The tape's in a loop. Well, it's or like that. Yeah, either one. I. I don't know, Glenn might like the space-time continuum theory better. Looks like somebody tampered with it. With what, says one of the guys looking at, trying not to look at your chest as you're leaned over. He's trying so hard, too. He's like, yeah, he's just playing with his wedding ring and rocking slightly. <laughs> this is fun, you think? Unfortunately, uh, you still look like yourself to yourself, so, you know. How far back do your tapes go? Um, we generally keep them for uh, uh, two days. All right. Um, and the drawers where the maps were taken from, do you have cameras showing that area? Uh, yes. Uh, the the uh, uh, drawers are, according to the tapes, until, like, uh, new tapes were put in, or actually no, they're they're still it's still showing all the drawers as closed. Yeah, 
I'm more interested in during the last couple of days if anybody was in that section checking out those drawers and those maps. As in no, not over the last couple out, of days. As in so casing do you, it. Do you think the ghost took took him? I mean, he, he couldn't have gotten far without his car, right? No, well, unless the his ghost car keys are uh, still there in his locker. Pretty sure the ghost doesn't know how to drive, says the one He goes, well. No, I don't know. <laughs> Whereabouts do you park your cars, and what car did uh, Mr. Vogel drive? They they are talking that. Meanwhile, Dana, uh, are you wanting to start digging through the dumpster, or did you just want to see it? The guy shivers a bit. It's a little cold out. I want to see if it looks like there had been any uh, recent deposits or used as a pickup spot or something. You dig through the dumpster. You yep. don't find anything of interest or value in the dumpster, although you uh, are really upset with just the sheer amount of coffee grounds thrown out. That's your biggest adversary right now. That and like yogurt. They could be composting. Right. <laughs> right. So no dead body Gerald in here? No. No. That would have been cool, but no. Okay, I climb out and start shaking off all the sticky bits. Uh, no problem. Uh, the the uh, the guy who is out here with you, uh, he helpfully points out a couple of <laughs> you got Thank some. You. There. There's a banana peel still on your head. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll go back in with my stinky self. All right, no problem. The guards can seem completely distracted by Glenn for some reason. So it would be like a photography role to evaluate their system or something else? Um, well, give me an electronics role. Uh, that would mean climbing around under desks and shit like that, which may send a couple of them to the hospital. <laughs> You can't figure out what's going on with this newfangled stuff. It's not like did in the twenties we have a. Did you drop a? Did you drop an earring, Cynthia? Mm. Trying to get a look at the electronics down here. You want to take a look, Archie? Sure. Does One of the guards matter? start crying as he's like turned away. <laughs> I'll get down next to her. And have a look. <laughs> 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 this helps. This helps. The guards are like, okay, okay, just. Uh, I have to go to the bathroom when the guard suddenly announces and hobbles off. <laughs> right. Um, you take a look, and yeah, they went in through the uh, the exterior wall and or and did something. It looks as though it was, in a very literal sense, an outside job. All right. So, um, hmm. All right, I pointed out. I knew it. Yeah, Glenn, you're you're still used to the uh, the the court uh, drawer sitting around, and that's your version of the security system. These electronics are <laughs> strange and confusing to you. Why nobody was sitting in the other room drawing people as they came in is a mystery. Or well, actual physical guards. Hmm. All right. Well, I suppose we can have a look outside so, on the other side of this wall. Yeah. No problem. You guys go back out. You check it out. It's it's actually kind of hidden behind the dumpster, and there's some miscellaneous mm, trash. That one's disturbed this dumpster. If only they hadn't have done that, we would be able to. Uh, <laughs> it was me the whole time. <laughs> now you know who the criminal is. Right. Oh, that was, was easy. Out. Uh, no problem. It, it looks as though somebody made themselves a little hidey hole and then just kind of somehow drilled in. Probably, uh, you, it looks like there's some old grease and stuff that was used to make the, the drill a lot quieter and whatnot. Yeah, I was going to say, oh. so if there's always a guard in the room. Well, they say there's always a guard in the room. They, they, what you know from experience, what the guards tell the bosses, and what actually happened, many mm -hmm. may not have any kind. It's like we thought we heard a noise. We all went out to do the macarena, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I mean, for all you know, the guards like always lock up at one a.m., go to a strip club, come back at four a.m., and you know, 
or uh, uh, possibly or go out and sleep yeah. stretch out on the tables and sure well the only the only uh table that's really like his maps are actually kind of heavy uh that weird display case with like the lots of missing space in it because it doesn't have little separate drawers and stuff that that one's still suspicious to you for whatever reason it doesn't it doesn't fit in with the rest of the drawers the display case yeah this one here i'd show you a picture of before i mentioned also, just, there's stuff there's stuff missing from the display case no it, it, it's missing drawers it's like why would you have something like that when the rest are all these flat packed drawer things to display stuff as per what we can see in the picture right you but see. it doesn't go down all the way it's it's just like on the top okay because of the wooden bits around the side you're saying right oh I'll check it out to see if there are any false panels or anything Hmm. Well, you find something different than what you were expecting because when you end up opening it up, you do find this inside. Gerald. Found you. you. <laughs> it's like you a really funny game of hide and seek. Uh, the the uh, guy who invited you guys here looks really shocked and goes, I guess it wasn't him. And uh, the other guards are like, you hear them making noise like, holy crap, what, what's it? It kind of opens one of them says. <laughs> it's like he was strangled with his tie. Is that right? I'm double checking before I give you the wrong answer. Or is, or is he tied? Yeah, it's weird. Like his tie's a bit loose or something. Or... Um, ah, yeah, it, it looks like uh, it wasn't necessarily the tie, but. Um, uh, it I... does appear to have been strangled with something thin, like a cord. Um, but that you guys, cord. sorry, not gone. You guys do notice that there, he has a discard mark on his belt near the right hand side, like something was normally there, and now it's not. Like the thing where they hang their keys from. Exactly like that. I if shall only you can figure out what it was. I shall call the I shall call the coroner and say it would, I shall call it in and say it's turned into a murder. Most but, but says the the guy does not appear to be very happy because he wanted all <laughs> low profile and shit. But we're not gonna press charges. Hey. Check what, um, Gerald. Is he right. Is he obviously dead, or should we check oh, yeah. the vitals? I know he's, he's definitely dead, okay. or he's he's winning the not moving game and keeping his eyes open game, and the being really pale game. He's winning a lot. <laughs> Do first aid just in case. Okay, yeah, uh, sure. If you fucking fumble it, it will be awesome for Logan. Live, damn it, live. <laughs> oh, damn close. All right. You're not convinced he's really, really dead. Might be a zombie. Mostly mm -hmm. dead. Or a ghost. Glad I didn't enter into him. <laughs> There's a long, slow pause as the. <laughs> Like slowly turns and looks at you. What? Well, shall we uh, analyze wait. some evidence? Yeah, wait for the coroner to turn up. Let's do the forensics out in the alley while we're waiting for the. Cool. Uh, the alley uh, doesn't turn up anything. Uh, there's a bunch of. Uh, smudges that have no fingerprints at all in them almost like somebody was wearing gloves when they were uh handling the dumb stuff. would you say that they are very large like a basketball player's hands no they're they're small like your hands 
Oh, the chills are like. Oh, there's my banana peel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? I, I don't know what you're doing. It's uh, called. Ah, oh, I forgot to roll. I forgot to log on after last session, and finish rolling my oh, skill ups. Okay. Where uh, is? That's my hands. <laughs> Um, everybody give me a evidence analysis roll. Nope. Yeah, evidence analysis. Yes. Yes. Cool. Um, McKay, you're thinking that there's something suspicious with the drawers. Dana, you know there's something suspicious with the drawers. There's something suspicious with the do drawers. <laughs> with the doors. <laughs> with the doors. <laughs> it's a banana peel top. <laughs> Got a little something in there still. Yeah. Um, should we check the other drawers to see if stuff was... Let's find more bodies. Maybe that guy 15 years ago is in one of these. It's <laughs> <laughs> just, just all these corpses turning up. Everybody's like, no. We don't fire anybody. We keep them right here. <laughs> <laughs> I... The, the other drawers uh, appear to have all the contents in and are in no way interesting, aside from to the, the guy who assures you that only out of the open drawers were things taken. Hmm. Um. You, with your with your one at half day, you're thinking that uh, a lot of a lot of what's been done here is to uh, throw you off the set. They've taken more maps than they needed to disguise which one they're actually after. Yes. We'll check the other drawers in case the the ones that are open are actually not the ones that had stuff. Already done. Okay. I, as I said, there was nothing, nothing missing from the closed drawers at all. All right, so it's the open drawers, but it's of the eight maps. Mm -hmm. There's probably only one or two that they actually wanted. Unfortunately, the, unless you can figure out a clever way to narrow it down, it's just no telling what they're after um, until you can figure out a way to narrow it. What? The one that was way up high. Go on. Go on to the trouble for a decoy. Well done. Fucking. Yeah, uh, I think it'd be strange, doesn't it? Yeah, go ahead and uh, discard any cards you don't want and try your refill button there, Glenn, to see if the draw multiple cards buttons back to work. Mm -hmm. Okay, does anybody want to hold my victory? Uh, it looks like I have to reduce. Oh, uh, I have. They're all very naughty people, Glenn. I play the sweetness and the light. Mm. Uh, I had a red card that just affected me, the omen. So I'm discarding now. I shall get rid of the golf plus 20. And but you know where several golf courses are. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I did play a, quite a good game that day uh, speaking of which. yeah it, it was weird watching two different people crit their golf game at once <laughs> just like one of us one of us that had it at base <laughs> uh-huh it, it, it's at that point when you start to wonder about the kind of adventures you have it's like what are you good at golf what <laughs> so did you need your has anybody got junk cards? Yes, I can trade you a card for the victory. Mm. Or discard a card. Yeah, just toss awesome. it. Yeah. yeah. Touch plus 20. Draw anyway, works. yes. So, yeah. what was in that top drawer? Well, according to the records and such, since they did put them on the internet, the technology here is not too horrible as logan desperately tries to remember nearly 20 years ago i remember playing everquest yeah. and that's the missing map and 
uh, such. You can even see a picture of the missing map, which looks vaguely like the county the, of King James, Virginia, 1794. Is that the missing map? Yes. I think that the, this mod assumes you're playing close to Virginia. So uh, actually, if you're in Illinois, that's fairly close. But just put it like conveniently close, close to where you yeah, closer. Just <laughs> crunch the states together more. Yeah. But and, and on the upper left, I've uncovered like a full picture of what the map looks like in case you were curious. I'm going to play self improvement. Oh, play. by the way, I think this is a prestige mod because this is a rough one. Because Logan is a horrible human being to you guys. He likes running on hard shit. So the question is. Exactly. What is it about this map that is so interesting? Well, uh, this map itself, more information. Uh, it's the map of the County of King James, Virginia, 1794. It's the, it's the only known copy, but it's nowhere close to the most valuable map taken. This map is, according to uh, the guy, worth about $200,000 to collectors. It's on permanent loan from Hollis Bray, now deceased. Uh, so it's from the Bray family. And it was given about 50 years ago. The Bray family, um, uh, yeah, they, they just kept, kept it perpetually here for the last 50 years. So it's worth about 200 grand, did you say? Yeah. Um, for Virginia, is that for those who have uh, possibly not uh, taken American history in grade school, it's <laughs> this is uh, the area of like Jamestown, one of the, the first settlement is it, of is it where the, settlers. Is this the, the, what's it called? The ones that went missing? Well, the town that died and the. the oh, know, Roanoke? And, yeah, Roanoke. Got all the myths and legends around it. Wow, I'm impressed you fucking knew about that because growing a carved in a tree or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was an island. Yeah, the the uh, it in Virginia or was that somewhere else? No, I think it was in Virginia. Um, I, I I don't know. I suspect that the colonists just ran off to live with the Indians because they had it better than the colonists did, despite being mostly dead from a plague, hmm. partially caused by the colonists. Anyway, um, or Cthulhu. <laughs> Or Cthulhu. Yeah, uh, this doesn't appear to have anything to do with that, but I gave out some cards for history stuff there. So if this no, is like Carolina, North Carolina, historical right. significance, if nothing else. Can we roll so history? I suppose is there anything if we compare this map to? a more modern map of that area. I'm wondering if there's anything on this map that has changed, be it the rivers or the creeks or something. I'm just trying to work out why you'd want a map of that time. Mm. And if it's something, as in why would this, why would you need this as opposed to a modern map? Yeah. I can think of is if there's a difference in the geography so you need to know where things were then based on whatever you're looking for uh, uh, 1794 that's day. right in the middle of the um, pirate era what are we going to tell the Bray family says the uh, uh, museum guy miserably uh, well first of all we're going to find out if anybody's offered to buy the map off them recently Oh, well, I'll go get uh, the contact information, he says then. Thank you. He seems conflicted, but goes and gets it and brings it back. Uh, 
There you go. Ace is. Um, it's Margaret Bray is the, uh, uh, the one who. As in B R A Y? Correct. Uh, she seems to be the point of contact now about what her, I guess it would be her grandfather left library. So. All right. Oh, everybody can roll uh, current events. Uh, if you have climatized toward uh, uh, Shermer area, Shermer zone, whatever, then you can do it at full. Otherwise, go for it at half. Emma, yes. Current events, you say? Yes. I was like, do we even have that skill anymore? I don't see <laughs> Didn't think so. Cool. Be uh, right in. Yeah, yeah, well, that's a good opportunity to get that, uh, of the value. God damn, he was close. Uh, good opportunity to get the value check and learn. Could we use Streetwise instead, or you want a, a new skill? Uh, definitely a new skill. Uh, this family is not uh, that kind of family. They're not the naughty kind of people you're used to associating <laughs> with. Wicked, wicked people in dens of iniquity. God, you miss them. <laughs> Got a group training card. Ooh. All right. So the question is. Then, yes. Uh, take a check in painting. Or you could all do it in current events. <sighs> no, we need it above base. Oh. Painting? Won't we get a check in painting if you're doing your trumps during skill up, during um, skill whoring? If that's what you're doing for skill whoring. No, I'm not doing that for skill whoring, but I just wanted to make sure it wouldn't be wasted for you. That's not what I would be using it for either. Okay, yep, right. that's fine. Yep. Done. Cool. It shows you guys in the painting class and stuff, and there's this bowl of fruit, and it's and it's laid out to try to look look, look like a sexy human, and you guys are like, okay, <laughs> the bananas aren't really doing it for me. All right. Um. It appears that you've gotten all the information out of uh, this building that there is to get. Yeah, the coroner has turned up. Yeah, they they uh, they he takes the body off to do his thing. I yeah. greet you all, and he goes, "Any more of those weird?" And he talks. He's talking to Joshua and Topinus. You or your team have any more of those uh, weird? blackout things that you came to see me about a couple weeks ago? Um, not recently, thankfully. Good, good, good. Pat you on the shoulder. We'll keep that strictly between us. Of course, definitely. Yeah, I know how it is. The job is hard. Oh, yes. He heads off with the body and stuff. All right, let's go see if we can have a chat to Margaret Bray first, um, unless you never, have any. We never did our forensics rolls. No need. There was nothing there to find. Boo. I mean, if you want to make uh, forensics rolls uh, just to process the scene correctly, you can. But whoever did it was obviously uh, wearing gloves and shit. Uh, some sort of perfect. No, no. That, that <laughs> fucking McKay accidentally. He was like, I got you blow And then. I, it went, and that one went, and it was just like a big game of dominoes and shit. Yeah. Something funny about these drawers. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, the, the guy is really, really upset. He's like, <laughs> does somebody want to, if I trade someone as a Porter reroll? <laughs> it just shows like all these valuable maps just laying, you know. Yeah, I'll trade you. No. Why won't you just trash it one crime scene for me? Just one. Because I can't have that on my yeah. conscience. <laughs> and a play. Thank you. 
if you fumble again, I will laugh and laugh and laugh. There we go. Hey. Oh, that's the that's mechanic. We come the, that's better. That's how it should be. No problem. It just shows like a couple expert twirls. Didn't even leave a lot of residue behind and whatnot. I, everybody's very impressed with with your your professionalism and such. And you're like, blah, 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 blah. you do the your Sherlock Holmes thing, and they're like, blah, blah. elementary. Apparently, mm -hmm. yes. Everybody's very impressed. Uh, right. Dana just stood there watching. I didn't touch or smudge anything else, so. Correct. <laughs> All right. Shall we go and see if we can contact Margaret Bray first? Or? No problem. Uh, visiting her is very easy. I'm assuming you guys get rid of your fucking gloves and shit as you head out. And you go to visit the Bray family. Mm -hmm. Here's what she looks like. Uh, middle, yeah, about the middle. And uh, she says, uh, nobody even thought about the uh, items grandfather gave the library all those years ago. My family came from that part of Virginia, she says. Hmm. And the, give, me, give me empathy rolls. Just sitting around chatting with her a bit. And she's yeah. got a couple of binders that appear to be newspaper clippings that she's waiting to show you but she's waiting for the chatting and stuff. Uh, Dana, you're, you're pretty much just Yeah, she's still smelling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're still thinking you can smell bananas and coffee and you don't like it. Um, <laughs> let's see, the other two guys are noticing, uh, she seems pretty laid back about $200,000 going missing. I mean, more laid back than say, Scott and uh, his wife would be, you know, Scott and Sheila might be less laid back if they just discovered $200,000 went missing. Hmm. They may even raise an eyebrow, I don't know. Now did she, like, I thought that her grandfather donated it to them, but was it was under their family possession? It was just under display under the care permanent, of the museum then? Permanent loan, I think. More than permanent so loan, than, exactly. More than donation. There, uh, give me appraisal rolls. Appraisal. Appraisal. And at last, Glenn, you're finally able to talk to uh, somebody who's not staring at your chest the whole time. It's refreshing. Dana, you're kind of weirded out that so many people are making direct eye contact with you now. It's unsettling. <laughs> Still, not as many as I'd want. <laughs> <laughs> Take a card. Uh, let's see. Uh, Joshua, you made your appraisal. Uh, you're thinking that <laughs> even though they're not ostentatious, this family's probably got some money. That could be part of it because uh, she oh, has enough. Yeah. Old town money, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. She she has enough money that her she can afford to get clothes that look like they don't cost a lot of money, if that makes sense. <laughs> she can lose, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, she she says, uh, yes, uh, I don't know if I, these would help or not, but I, I dug them out. Yeah. She, he says, uh, you can borrow them for as long as you need. I would like them back afterward. They're just clippings and such. Thank you. You know, because the Bray family has been involved in the community and giving back to it for many years. And um, nobody had approached you in regards to purchasing that map? No. Okay. Do you have any siblings or cousins around or not around? Oh. Several, yes. Um, she gives you a long list of miscellaneous people and stuff. Uh, you, mostly you suspect the ones that she has some of those long-term grudges with, like, you know, when great aunt Mabel died and her niece knew that she wanted the uh, serving set, but she took it instead, that kind of grudge shit. You suspect that that's what's going on. 
Yeah, I mean, big, big old families harbor that kind of shit for generations. Any family legends about the map? No. Or that area in Virginia? No. All right. Had Thank you me. ever viewed the map? Have you gone to visit it before? No. Okay. I didn't even know it was one of the items that was there. Thank you for your assistance, Matt. Anything you, I can do? Yeah, here's my card on the off chance you think of anything or somebody contacts you about it or 